Ooh, that is strong coffee. That is some damn fine shit explosion coffee right there. <laughs> Courtesy of my brother when he's making the coffee. When he makes the coffee, everyone in the office get the shits. <laughs> What's up everyone and welcome to FAQ 131 I'm officially back from vacation, as you can see, I'm back in my office I went a week to Spain for vacation with my family, you know, I had an awesome time I didn't work, other than making the FAQ for you guys Ungrateful bastards I was there just enjoying the sun, getting some Corona, just chilling Too soon? Let's just head on with the question, did it? Ah, I didn't play the guitar Dream Theater, change of seasons, great Sorry, we're in Ola's FAQ The FAQs were the absolute most important questions are getting asked and answered So, let's go Brian Newman How many more Balsack Bros shirts have you sold? Yes, the most important questions Ever since that video where I uh, inquired people to get a Balsack t-shirt I think I sold more than 20 So that's at least something Thank you so much for being my Balsack Bro If you want, you can buy one of these as well Chug life <sighs> I know people hate when I plug myself, but there you go That's me plugging myself Adric Skywalker I noticed a Jackson Juggernaut 7 string, which I also have Smile face On one of your Instagram posts Are you doing a video of that? Looking forward to it uh, Yes! I already made a video of it And it's already online, by the way But I'll bring it up for you There you go, this is it I actually already uh, uploaded a rig of the week using this guitar with the Hughes & Kettner Black Spirit 200 Basically, what I've been doing now is that I'm uh, reaching out to companies uh, In this case, I reached out to Okay I reached out to Misha Mansour of Periphery and asked him straight like Hey man, you know, I'm doing this rig of the week You know, I'm trying to make videos where I basically just try whatever You know, with no plans in mind I think it would be cool if you and Jackson could lend me uh, Misha Mansour guitar I would love to show your guitar in one of my videos So they sent me this This is the Jackson Pro HT HT7 And I already tried it in a rig of the week I really like this guitar, it has a roasted maple neck right there And uh, yeah, it's just a sick guitar And uh, you have one, congratulations But as you might assume, this is not the only guitar I've asked for for a rig of the week I also have a comparison Courtney Cox guitar over there And also yesterday I got this Shit, so many guitars on the floor right now But I have to show you this Obviously, I also reached out to my good friend Keith uh, to have Schechter send me a Keith Merrow guitar So this is a KM6 Mark III With his Fishman Fluence pickups And I haven't actually tried this yet It came yesterday And I took it out Just to let it sit in the room And uh, I'm gonna try it out for a rig of the week pretty soon And I'm uh, really looking forward to it I haven't tried Keith's pickups I'm a big fan of the Fishman Fluence Modern So, so I, I have no doubt in my mind that this guitar will sound absolutely crushing So looking forward to using this one in a rig of the week And I guess you guys are as well It's my good buddy Keith I miss him Pip Pris, two questions for you Ola First, you stated that you had more noise complaints coming to the office do we have to fear that you might have to move at some near future point in time? Or are you taking measurement against the noise or have talked with your neighbors? <coughs> I was waiting for that burp, that's why it sounded weird there in the ending But no, I have not received any more noise complaints I only got the first one And you know, when I got that noise complaint, I kind of responded, you know And said like, yeah, I know, I, I, I noticed that it's very, you know, it's easy to hear the neighbors here You know, I can hear you guys talk all the time and blah 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 And you know, pulling weights or whatever, there's a gym over there I was just kind of, you know Addressing it as being a problem with the environment here It's not my problem that people can hear me play guitar And uh, I said that, but you know what, I'll try and uh, you know, play loud in certain hours So they know and can expect when it's going to be loud And uh, they can adapt after that So, you know, I'm not a total asshole <laughs> You know, after working hours, I can play as loud as I want, basically So, I mean, it's not a problem, I'm not going to move because of this I mean, shit Everyone's kind of overanalyzing everything Like, oh, uh, you know, oh, oh, poor Ola And, you know, being stupid For getting an office where you can't uh, chug But I can't chug, okay? Take it easy 
Uh, thank you so much. Oh, you have two questions. Second, saw the coffee with Ola with Devin. Great video. How have you honestly felt when Devin said that you served the community well and said thank you on behalf of the guitarist community? Did it mean something? Did it meant something to you apart from the normal flattering? That's always awesome videos. I know I'm a subscriber since nearly 9 to 10 years. Shit, okay. Thank you so much, Pepris. Uh, obviously, not only Devin did this, also Dino and uh, Marcy said the exact same thing, actually. And it, it really means a lot to me when they say that I'm doing the community a service. Uh, I really appreciate that. Of course, it's very flattering when someone says this in general, but obviously it's, of course, special when someone that you put in high regard uh, says that about you, so that makes me extremely happy, of course. I mean, that interview with Devin in general, it was just kicking all kinds of ass. I mean, he's uh, he's, uh, he's sort of a... He, definitely a spirit animal for a lot of people. And, you know, one of the things that he that really got to me that he said was basically the simple thing when I asked about, you know, uh, people with opinions or people with kind of like a hateful approach on things online. He said it like, you know, life is so difficult, we should be supporting each other instead. And that really spoke to me. I mean, that's uh, Devin in a nutshell right there. And uh, I love that man. And if you haven't checked out the interview, I'll link it up here, okay, so you can check it out. It's, it's, it's a great, great uh, experience for you. Ulf Joachim. Hi Ola, one tip for perfecting your vibrato, coming from a cellist and guitarist. Move your left hand up and down the neck, like jacking off. And after some time, grab the neck with the finger you want to place on the fret and your thumb, but still move your arm like before. This really helps improving your vibrato. Okay. Now, this is great. It means that I don't have to give the tips around here. People can just send them the tips. So, okay, jerking off. I like that. That's something I'm really uh, familiar with. This is me jerking off right here. No, uh, this is me jerking off right here. Sorry. <laughs> like that. Okay, this is, this is something I'm used to. This, it has to go this far as well. Like really, really far. That's, uh, that's what I'm familiar with. Not short like this, more like this. Yes, this is uh, sort of like how it feels for me. Jerking off. <laughs> Can you hear this? This is an amazing sound, by the way. I want my coffee today. Want it bad in my belly, so I can shit good. Okay, so the only thing I'm doing now, fretting. Uh, I'm not grabbing a hold of the neck. It's just this, and then I grab one fret. Okay, seven fret, and I take the. Uh, okay. Okay. He's talking about uh, wiggling up and down rather than, you know, side by side, so. I mean, it's a really good way to make a subtle vibrato. But if you really want a dramatic vibrato, you can use both, I guess. I always thought that the key to make a vibrato sounding good is that you start off slow and then increase the speed with uh, the music, so... So you make a bigger movement as the note kind of rings by. Oh, the tone was off, okay. But yeah, I can definitely see this happening because that's kind of like the technique you see with cellists where you don't really have frets, but you know, they move kind of like this up and down the string rather because obviously they don't bend because if you bend on a fretless instrument you're gonna damage the fretboard that's kind of like the thing when you have like a fretless guitar you don't want to bend because you know then you're gonna stress the fretboard because there's no fret to be stressed so does that make any sense so that's why you want to make the vibrato going up and down instead Great, um, thank you, Ulf Joachim, for the tip. And now I can write uh, pulling off a perfect vibrato in the title of the video and claim more viewers. Great, thank you. 
Twinborn. Hey Ola, are you excited for Doom Eternal coming out this month? I see you wearing Doom shirts all the time. What do you think about how the game looks so far? Yes, I am looking forward to Doom, but to be quite honest, I haven't pre-ordered it. I will probably get it. I think my brother is getting it, so I'll watch him play for a little bit. But I'm actually very much more excited about half... Half? <laughs> about Half-Life. Overclass citizen right there. Half-Life. Alex for uh, VR. I'm really looking forward to that. I'm gonna set up my VR in this room over there. Can you see me here on the camera? <laughs> There's a lot of space over there, so I can move my arms. You know, wheeling arms, Ola. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm actually more excited about Half Life Alex. I think with that game, it seems like they're, you know, pushing the VR thing into the next level. And uh, I really hope for a good experience with that. I mean, the best experience I've had so far with the VR has been with Valve stuff. You know, the lab, for instance. It's, uh, it's just super awesome. It's the best VR experience I've had so far. So I'm really looking forward to the uh, Half-Life Alex uh, game. But Doom will probably be super awesome. I'm probably gonna slay a lot of members in that game. Just saying. Legendar Project. Master Ola, what do you think about the streaming services killing metal thing? I truly cannot understand this problem because one day an artist says one thing and the day after the opposite thing is said by another artist. And it's fine to support or not the thing, but if those two are colleagues, shouldn't they afford their lives with their music in the same way? Well, well, I think it's more about how you adapt your mind regarding the music industry. Obviously, if you're like a traditional guy and, you know, you sold albums a lot and, you know, you kind of see a decrease of album sales because, you know, people are streaming. I mean, that's how it is. And, you know, the streams are paying less than if someone would buy the physical song or like buy an MP3 or whatever. If you're used to that older mindset like that, then yes, you will probably complain <laughs> about streaming services uh, not paying out enough money. You know, I'm a little bit in between because obviously, you know, I'm selling albums, physical albums, but I also think it's very important to have streaming services because that's the way people listen today. I know a lot of the old guys, they still enjoy CDs and vinyls and all that, but I mean, for the future, I mean, the younger generation, they will only know streaming services. Why would they get the CD player? I mean, I'm just a messenger here. I love the album format and whatnot, but the future is people having instant gratification like this. You know, it's this is with everything basically. Videos, I mean, YouTube videos, people go online, they just watch a quick clip or whatever. That's how people consume media today. And I don't think there's a stop to this unless, you know, something drastical would happen. I mean, I think with the modern day, you know, the uh, music has lost the value, you know, you're paid less for the actual music, but everything else surrounding it that you can offer has kind of like exploded in a way. And uh, at my level, you know, I'm not a professional in that sense. You know, I'm not really making a lot of money on my music, but then again, you know, a combination of everything makes it worthwhile for me. You know, I'd rather have my music being available for a lot of people. Uh, you know, through streaming services and whatnot, and then you offer something else to people, that, the people that really want to support you. And uh, I mean, that could be a better source of income right there. I understand why there's uh, controversy <laughs> uh, regarding musicians saying different things, because some people have adapted, some people live in the old ways and, you know, like to complain a lot. And that's okay. I mean, I think both can kind of coexist. And, uh, you know, kind of go hand in hand. You just have to compromise a little bit here and there and just adapt, basically. So, uh, not sure if I properly answered that question, but have you seen this? Maybe you saw this in an uh, earlier video of mine, but look at this hypnotizing thing right here. This is the Softube uh, Console 1 fader and the Console 1. I've had this before. Uh, I haven't really used it, but I'm really looking forward to trying to use this now. Basically, Softube has released this and a plugin that you use in uh, your DAW and you get an SSL type of layout right here with SSL compressors, EQs and whatnot. And you can load in other mixing desks as well. So I'm really looking forward to trying to, you know, incorporate this into my whole music setup right here. But I mean, look at this. I mean, having it like this and the moving faders, that's enough for me. But you know also what it can do? Look at this. Pong! Okay, let's play with myself. Oh. Bam. Bam. Oh, oh Listen to myself. That's okay. Bam. Look. Oh, curveball. <laughs> oh, oh. 
Oh, my left hand is actually dominant in this one. Curveball! It's not gonna take it. 3-0. There you go. My left hand is better than my right hand. Maybe I'm left-handed. But I mean, look at this. Isn't this amazing? I can play Pong now. <laughs> Using this console fader one. Oh, this is probably what I'm gonna use this for. Nothing else, basically. <laughs> so we're just gonna see. I'm looking forward to trying it out. Maybe feature in a video or something like that. Oliver Baffery. Hey, Ola, question for the next FAQ. I know Coffee with Ola is almost for metal guitar players, but have you ever thought in bringing hard rock players like Slash, Joe Perry or something like that? You have become an inspiration to me since feared. Uh, it's sure in my top 10 metal bands. Love your content. Keep it up. Thank you so much for, uh, for those words, man. That really makes me happy. Uh, yes, I would love to have Slash and Joe Perry on my show. The only problem is that I think that Slash and uh, Joe Perry probably don't want to be in my cuff with all a segment. Uh, I'm just a little too small for that. You know, I'm kind of building, you know, the my brand a little bit. You know, Coffee with Ola. I'm getting, you know, uh, bigger and bigger artists here and there. And, you know, I just have to build my way up slow. And right now, my dream interview would be with John Petrucci. And I really want to make that happen. I've tried a couple of times when they rolled through Stockholm, but no response. Which makes me sad. But uh, I'm trying my best, guys. You know, I really like the premises of you know, me sitting with another metal guitar player and just sitting and talking about random shit. That's what I like about the Coffee with Ola segment. It's not a, you know, traditional interview. It's just... hangs. I like to hang. With coffee. John Teumann, it blew my mind reading that Kirk Winstein uh, or Kirk Winstein is now a solo guitar artist. How did that happen? Yes! Uh, we didn't make it official, but Kirk did. <laughs> Obviously, he uh, did a Facebook post. It makes me extremely proud, of course, that Kirk is playing a solo guitar. We sent him a E1.6 Jensen guitar, which is the Jensen signature guitar, and he loves it. And uh, he's uh, probably gonna go out on tour with it now, and uh, we're just gonna see what happens. But obviously, it's a very big name for solo guitars and for me, and it obviously means a lot too, because Kirk is in down and, you know, crowbar. Holy shit! That's a great testament right there, and uh, it makes me extremely proud and uh, extremely grateful, obviously. And uh, Coffee with Ola, maybe, when they roll through uh, Stockholm, Sweden. I would love to do that. Should I make a riff for today? I should make a riff for today. Riff of the day! <laughs> Let's do that change the season thing, that's really cool. So this guitar is tuned to uh, E flat, but it's in E, obviously. This chord progression right here. And then you just uh, move around the uh, the index finger like that. So simple as fuck. And I riff of the day out of my way. A blowjob for no, it's not blowjob. It's B J Frash. Hey Ola, can you play any tech death solos? No. Alexander Aguiar. Uh, Ola, I noticed that your channel is increasing really fast in terms of followers recently. Congratulations on that. I wanted to ask, anything special planned for when you reach the flower? 500k. Thank you so much. Yes, my channel has indeed uh, gained a lot of followers lately and it's growing really fast, which I'm obviously very, very happy about. But I'm also a little bit scared that it might be growing too fast, you know, because I'm a, I, I'm, I'm a cautious sweet. I don't like things blowing out of proportions, so I'm trying to, you know, chill a little bit, you know, take my time. Uh, maybe I need to introduce myself uh, a lot more. If you look back, like one year I was at like 300,000, and you know, in one year and a little more, I'm probably gonna be at 500k, which means that almost half of you know, my new viewers came this past one and a half years. So, uh, maybe people have no idea who I am, which is okay. Maybe I had to make it like an introduction video. But for when I reach 500k, I've been thinking about this. You know, I, I thought about this, you know, maybe I should do something funny, like a funny video and me eating sushi or whatever, but I've already done that. But I actually asked uh, my members, like, what do you want to see from me at 500k? And Robin, you know, Robin, my beautiful member, he came with the idea that I should release a single. Uh, you know, Ola England single. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna release a new song of mine when I reach 500k. I think it's gonna be in like two and a half months or something like that. It's something me and Delta has been working on for the past days, and I actually been tracking it now this past week. And um, 
It's a, it's a, it's okay. I'm not gonna oversell it. It's an okay song. <laughs> wow, I'm so f good at selling myself. Holy shit! But yeah, I'm gonna uh, release that single on Spotify and also Bandcamp. I also have a Bandcamp now, so if you want to own the audio files, uh, you can do that now. You can buy my albums on digital format now, so you don't have to stream it. You can actually own the files, which is good, I guess. I, I put a link down there. You can uh, do whatever you want. It's your choice. But yeah, I was thinking of making like a uh, uh, like a seven-inch vinyl and make it limited to 500 or something like that and just sell them off. Joseph L. Dean, hey, what happened to your face? Why is it like that? At least my mom loves me. Silverus, I used to watch Ola in the old days, but now I see he only cares about money. I hate everything about this channel now. There used to be an unbiased reviews, answers to real questions, and everything was super professional. And now all you do is joke around and take nothing seriously. How dare you act this way on your channel? And I'm joking, of course. And I'm joking, of course. Who can hate this beautiful man? Please, Ola, insert a promotion here. Yes! <laughs> Thank you. This guy gets it. I'm happy. <laughs> All right, I know I've been hosting a lot of these, you know, oh, I don't like the way Ola kind of runs his channel now versus when he didn't talk or back in the day when his videos were shit. You know, I don't like uh, new content. I just like old content that sucks. <laughs> but obviously you guys understand that, uh, you know, I have some sort of an idea where I want to bring my channel and how I want to run things nowadays. I mean, people are kind of saying like, yeah, I mean, you're not the same as you were back, you know, when you started your channel. That was f 10 years ago. I'm a different man. <laughs> a lot of things can happen in 10 years. I seriously doubt if I would continue doing the exact same thing all the time that, you know, my channel will, would grow. And as I said earlier, my channel has not grown as much as it's doing right now. And actually, I think a big reason for, you know, my growth this past year is because I think that I'm enjoying myself doing videos a lot more now, now that I feel more free, you know, to talk shit about everyone and uh, brands and whatnot. And also with this, I just want to say, you know, you guys get me. I mean, a lot of people, they don't get me, obviously, because, you know, sometimes I'm a little bit too sarcastic. And uh, that's a problem. I know that. I think it's more important to actually, you know, build the audience that likes you for what you do rather than, you know, trying to be someone else, trying to make a channel that is not you and uh, with an audience that doesn't understand what you're doing. With that said, I just want to say thank you for, you know, understanding what I'm doing with my channel and thank you so much for all the support and all the nice comments you are doing in the comment section it's it, it makes me really happy to see and uh, you know I have this member community that I f love that has become you know a huge part of my life and I'm just really grateful for all of this and uh, I just want to say thank you I know maybe I'm talking about this way too often but it's for a reason it, it makes me really happy so thank you ah oh, back clap Good clap. Guys, thank you so much for watching this demo. It's not a demo, it's an FAQ. <laughs> but thank you so much for spending this Sunday with me. And uh, if you have any questions, be sure to ask them in the comment section of this video. A huge, huge thank you to all of my members out there. There's been a couple of members of mine that have had a rough time lately. I just want you guys to know that you have my support. And, uh, you know, you can talk to me anytime you want on Discord, being a member. But you have to pay. <laughs> <laughs> now a lot of people are gonna call me an asshole because I said that. That's okay. You guys know me. You understand me. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys.